ओके थैंक यू वेरी मच सरन फॉर इंट्रोड्यूसिंग मी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल एवरीबॉडी नोज वेयर इज मणिपुर इट इज स्मॉल स्टेट इन द नॉर्थ ईस्टर्न पार्ट ऑफ इंडिया एंड मणिपुर वाज अ इंडिपेंडेंट किंगडम बिफोर द इंडिपेंडेंस ऑफ इंडिया बट आफ्टर इंडिपेंडेंस ऑफ इंडिया इन 1949 मणिपुर बिकेम द पार्ट ऑफ इंडिया and it was declared a full fledged state in 1972 so in 1972 manipur became a full fledged state as a part of the northeast india and the manipur is surrounded uh, you can see in the even in the map given on the right side manipur is surrounded by uh, three from three sides it is surrounded by the indian states of nagaland on the north then the uh, kasar district of assam on the west mizoram on the south and along the east with uh, myanmar international boundary with myanmar sharing about 352 long kilometers international border so uh, <clears throat> geographical area is about 22000 km square kilometer geographically uh, Uh, most of the people uh, in the india think manipur is a hilly area but uh, very interesting manipur is divided in two parts of a uh, mountainous hill region and the valley of the imphal because uh, valley of imphal is a small area in the middle of the manipur state it is a plain totally flat area mountainous region runs uh, running north south abridging the patka hill range hope everybody knows who where is the patka hill range and the lusai uh, lusai means mizo hill range it is in the mizoram uh, patka hill range is uh, extended from uh, arunachal to nagaland and uh, we also know as the naga hills and uh, it is extended up to the manipur hill range is extended up to arakan yoma of myanmar the central part of the valley, uh, manipur is a valley roughly about 48 uh, square uh, no 48 km long and 31 km wide it is very small part the hill the hills have altitudes ranging from 830 meters to 300 and uh, 3017 meters we are talking about the hill range of the imphal valley to the highest mountain region in the hilly area but if you go to the international boundary towards myanmar the lowest altitude is up to 75 km 75 uh, meters so we are, we are sharing very low altitude to, with the myanmar side and uh, one of the major features in in, the, in in manipur is at the center of the valley we have the largest fresh water lake in the northeastern part of india which is called as the loktak lake and covering an area of 104 square kilometer and the uh, Loktak Lake is uh, fresh water and it is very famous for its beauty, natural beauty. Then the, it is famous for its uh, floating biomass, which we call as the fundi. As you can see on the photograph, on the right side it is uh, floating biomass, which is used by the fishermen to raise uh, raise the fish in these uh, circular ponds. which is made in the loktak lake as we talk about the manipur it is a second part is about the forest types of the forest uh, overall manipur the eastern side of manipur is having tropical rainforest sharing with myanmar so the total forest cover of manipur is about 78 kilo 78% of the land mass it is about 17418 square kilometer 
mainly in the hilly, hilly parts of the uh, Manipur. And the, there are four major types of uh, fresh found in Manipur. There is a tropical semi-evergreen, dry, temperate forest, subtropical pine forest, and the tropical moist deciduous forest. Even you can see even in the uh, may provide it. Uh, dense forest is in the uh, parts of the Naga Hills, like uh, in the Okrul, Senapati, and Tamanglong district, the dark area. Then open forest is uh, most of the part is open forest uh, the, throughout the hilly uh, regions of Manipur. So, <clears throat> The, the most importantly, Manipur is part of the Eastern Himalayan Biodiversity Hotspot. Uh, as we know, the Eastern Himalayan Biodiversity Hotspot covers some parts of Nepal, Bhutan, Northeastern Indian States, then the Southeast Tibet, and the Northern Myanmar. So Manipur is uh, in this region. And it is like the, the other parts of northeastern India, the meeting place or uh, the Manipur is the meeting place of Central Asia, Asia, Chinese subdivision of the Palartic region with the peninsular India and Malayan subdivision of the Oriental region. Because it is the meeting place of, uh, if we talk, uh, if we see the uh, general geography, uh, Manipur is in the juncture of uh, Oriental region, then the uh, peninsular end of the peninsular area, then from the northern part it is the end of the Palartic region. So it is uh, in the juncture of three main geographic uh, regions. So there's uh, even in the book of the identification of Indian butterflies by winter blight, uh, it is mentioned Manipur or the northeastern part is very rich in the biodiversity of Lepidoptera. Am I going very fast? Uh, no, sir, you are going correct. You can proceed. Okay. If it is very fast, please tell me. Okay. Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> climatic conditions. Uh, climatic condition is uh, mainly uh, affected by the southwest monsoon in summer, then the northeast monsoon and Mediterranean winds in the winter because we have two monsoons. Uh, even in the summer also, and even in the winter also. Then the Eastern Lowlands means, Eastern Lowlands means it is the, towards the Indo-Myanmar Indo border. The Western Assam Manipur border Lowlands falls between the altitude, as I said, it is very low, 3200 meters above the uh, mean sea level, and thus rain means this part is having the tropical climate, especially the Eastern part of Manipur, like uh, Sandel district and Tenok, uh, Sandel and uh, Surchanpur, these districts are having tropical uh, tropical rainforest mainly, and uh, it is a world, tropical climate. If we see the ecoregion, we have uh, our Manipur comes under the Mizoram Manipur Kachin rainforest ecoregion. Uh, you know the Kachin, Kachin is in the, Kachin state is in the Myanmar. You can see the uh, map where the uh, dark spots uh, spreading. That is the Mizoram Manipur, Kachin rainforest ecoregion. So Chin Hills, Arakan Mountains, Chitangong Hills in the Bangladesh, Naga Hills, Mijo Hills, Sangai Division, Sangai Division, and the Kachin state is in the uh, Myanmar. So we are sharing the ecoregion with the uh, Indian states as well as the uh, international uh, Myanmar, uh, international country Myanmar. Annual rainfall is uh, 975 mm to the highest is 2646 mm. Because uh, Manipur has most of the time it is raining because <laughs> it is a rainforest area. Temperature very low to very high, high means uh, up to 36 degrees Celsius so far. Sometimes in the April, May, it reaches up to 38 to 40, but average it is remains to 36. 
and the temperature two degrees centigrade is in the December January. It is a very peak in winter time in Manipur. And uh, Manipur state is blessed with the five seasons. Summer is from May to June. Then the first monsoon, it is uh, July to September. Then the autumn is October to November. Cold winter is December to February. Then the spring is in to March to April. So we have five seasons. And the best season for butterflying is starting from June, then the, up to November, December, January, February, we don't have much. And the spring in the March and April is best time. Biodiversity is very interesting, but uh, this biodiversity is incomplete. Here I am presenting because uh, this information was found in the in this center of Manipur and uh, some recent publications. Uh, floral diversity, in the floral diversity, it is divided into seven parts, medicinal plants. Uh, we have 89 species, I think it will be more, but the <laughs> information is from the uh, Invis Biodiversity Center, Manipur Biodiversity Board. Poisonous plants, we have 151 species. Aquatic plants, 18 species, mainly found in the Loktak Lake region. Orchids, 148 species. In Manipur, we have a Manipur Orchidarium, which is especially dedicated for the uh, orchids protection in Konghampat, Imphal East area. Then the three species, we have 151 species. I think it could be more. Then the bamboo species, we have 51 species. Then the interestingly wild edible plants, it is 50 species. So it is approximately 650 species of uh, aquatic as well as the land uh, plants are there in Manipur. Faunal diversity, approximately they have given 658 species. Uh, out of these uh, amphibians, 13 species out of this one is endangered. Lizards, 18 species. Two species is endangered. Snakes, 34 species. Two species are endangered. Mammals, 31 species. 20 species are endangered. Silkworm, uh, silkworm is added, but uh, we have uh, different types of, so either species. Birds, birds, uh, data, the birds uh, is 716 species. 37 species globally treated. The information is from the AV base, the, bird, the world bird database. And the fish species, freshwater fish, uh, especially found in the Loktak Lake and the uh, rivers originated from Manipur and the rivers going towards the originated from Loktak Lake going towards the uh, Myanmar. Uh, it is about 117 species. It is the recent publication from 2009 uh, uh, by Wycombe et al. Biodiversity of Freshwater Fishes of Manipur. I think this uh, information is a little bit uh, less, I think so, because uh, we have more than this, but it is a government database. Uh, flagship species. Uh, I hope uh, some people might be knowing. Manipur state animal is called as, in Manipuri we call as Hangai. And uh, in English it is called as a bro antler deer, Recurbus LD LD. It is endemic to Manipur. And uh, there are two more sister species. It is found in the Myanmar and Thailand. And uh, Manipur State Bard is uh, Mr. Mrs. Humes Fizant, uh, Sermaticus, Humi Humi. It is Manipuri, in Manipuri we call it as the Nongin. Then the Manipur State, oh sorry, uh, third slide is the Manipur State Tree. Uh, it is given as the flower. 
Manipur state three is uh, we call as Uningthau. U Ningthau means U means uh, three. Ningthau means uh, king. So it is uh, two nationalities in uh, India. We call as the Indian Mahagoni. Tun. I I hope everybody might have heard this name. And uh, Manipur state flower. Oh sorry. Manipur. Manipur state flower is given again wrong. It is a Lilium macleanae, which we call as the Shiroi lily. And it is endemic to Manipur, and it is only found in the Shiroi hills of Ukrul district, in the Naga hill range. Okay, this were this where the this previous slides were about the uh, history, uh, biogeography, climatic conditions, forest types, and the biodiversity of Manipur. Now we'll talk about the history of butterfly or Lepidoptera studies in Manipur. The earliest work was done by the butler in 1885 uh, in, in his publication on the collection of butterflies from the Manipur and on the borders of Assam by uh, borders of Assam by Dr. Je George Watt. They have reported 35 species of butterflies from the boundary inside the Manipur. There are lots of butterflies mentioned by Butler, but the majority of the butterflies were collected from Assam. And uh, when I go through it, we found 35 species of butterflies were reflected by the Butler from the Manipur. Second extensive work was done by the Titler, H.C. Titler in 1914 to 15, when he was assigned, when Titler was assigned to survey the Manipur. In his uh, publication, uh, New Butterflies of Naga Hills and Manipur, he have mentioned 269 species, and that is all collected from Naga Hills, especially the Nagaland, that the Manipur, in Manipur, low-lying hills of Imphal Valley, Saitu, Peak, it is uh, almost 8,400 feet. Then the Irang and the Langba River in the western part of Manipur. Then the Sebong near to the Myanmar border, and which is part of the eastern Manipur hills. And Siroi Biles and the Siroi Phui Peak in the Ukrul district. These are the major areas which were surveyed by the Titler. And he have reported 269 species. More interestingly, he have described, out of these 269 species, he have described 41 new species and subspecies of butterflies from Manipur and Naga Hills. And it is found in his publications of 1914, 1915, 1926, and 1927. And in the publication of 1939 and 1940 by Titler, uh, this is the publication of butterflies of Myanmar. In this, he has again described 12 species and subspecies of butterflies, which was collected from Naga Hills and Manipur during 1911 to 1914. Then these are the major persons who have studied in Manipur. But the letter, the letter records which we found in the fauna of British India by Bingham in 1905, 1907, then Talbot in 1939 and 1947, and even the Evans publication, identification of Indian butterflies in 1923 and 1932, these were all based on the collection made by the Titler and the Butler. So after this, after Titler have studied, nobody have studied butterflies of Manipur so far.
post independence uh here also again by uh, 1957 publication by the winter blight he also mentioned the publications uh he's also mentioned the collections made by the titler only then in 2004 geological survey of india met an expedition to explore the biodiversity of butterflies uh, the lepidoptera in manipur here i am not i am not talking i am not mentioning the uh, moths collected i am here referring only the butterflies that is i have recorded 87 species of butterflies in the publication uh, by gupta majumdar and mondal and molik in 2004 but here also some of the uh records they have referred it is the collection uh, materials which is found in the collection of the jsi museum then in 2011 the uh, dr singh from manipur university and the uh, biodiversity manipur biodiversity board they have conducted a study in the kaibulam jaw national park which is in the uh, local clay in the bishnupur district they have recorded 115 species of butterflies it was published in 2011 and we have another publication in 2014 there is the same pub same butterflies from kabulam that was published as a book in the by the manipur biodiversity board containing the same number of species then uh, it came to 2010 present study we have initiated uh, leading uh, i am not, i will not say i have led it but uh, before me also there were some people who have started studying but from 2010 we started systematic collection of uh, butterfly diver butterfly diversity in the valley and the hill parts of manipur with locality data photographs everything is stored with us we have so far surveyed it plus localities in manipur you can see even in the map the triangular triangular parts are the historical localities which we have visited and the blue circles are the recent uh, survey localities so far we have recorded 449 species since 2010 to 2019 we have not at 2020 because of the corona we could not go much in 2020 so 449 species recorded from manipur which includes so many new records range extensions then the rediscovery of the previous records after more than 100 years so now we have a total 798 species of butterflies including the historical records from the literature uh, review of the literature and uh, there is an article coming up very soon uh, it is accepted in the journal uh, main author is me and the other participants are the co-authors so uh, we have 798 species out of that we have recorded so far 449 species so uh, we have diverse uh, we talked butterfly species found in india in india is 1318 species as per versene and smetasek 2015 total species found in manipur including the present survey and the uh, historical records we have 798 species it is about 60% of india's total fauna is found in manipur and uh, we have papilionidae 52 species out of uh, about 58% of indian population feridi 39 about 42% of indian population 
Cryogenity, 17%. It is about 89.5% of Indian population. Lysinity or Lekanity, 225 species in Manipur, about 60% of Indian population. Nymphalidae, 270, about 59% of Indian population. And the Hesperidae, 195 species in Manipur, which is about 70% of Indian population. So by looking at this chart, we can say the Manipur butterfly biodiversity is very rich. And uh, it is the second highest number in the all over India, next to uh, our natural produce. Protected species, we have 87 protected species. Uh, out of 52 papillionidae, we have uh, two in schedule one. Four in schedule two. Peridae out of 39, we have five in schedule two. Ryodinidae, we have two in schedule two. Lichenidae or Lysinidae, we have four in schedule one and 18 in schedule two. Seminymphalidae, we have uh, 10 species uh, in schedule one and uh, 34 species in schedule two and uh, two species in schedule four. Hesperidae, 195 species, out of these two are in schedule two, and the five are in the schedule four of the Indian Wildlife Protection Act, 1972. So total we have 87 species. Uh, there is, this is the list, uh, I cannot go through uh, all, but out of this, some of the highlighted uh, species are Emblopala avidiana avidiana, which is uh, uh, only known from Naga Hills, means the Nagaland part, and the Nepal. So recently we have recorded from Siro Hills. Then Elgia fasciata is also a new record for Manipur, which is also protected in the schedule one. Then the schedule two species, we have uh, Biasa laterally Kaubrua. It was uh, described from Kaubru Hills by Titler in 1915. After that, nobody has seen this butterfly except in the NHM Museum, London. And uh, you can see this uh, butterfly photograph in the bio, uh, BOI website. And then recently we have collected from the Kobu Hill from the type locality itself. Tinopelpus imperialis, we have recently recorded from new localities, two localities, we can say, from the Siro Hills as well as from the uh, Kobu Hills. Earlier it was recorded only from the Kobu Hills. Then the Panitis leader daily, it was described from. Uh, it was collected by Titler in the Naga Hills, and uh, we confirm its presence in Manipur from Kobu Hill. In the recent collection. Then Apias albina, these are the some periods. Then um, Lysinidae, we have uh, Aporasa Atkinsoni or sometimes it is also called as the Mahathala Atkinsoni. It was recorded from Sebong, in, uh, and we have published the paper earlier in the JOTT. Then the Calarivia Suroya, which is also only found in the Siro Hills. We have record, we recorded from Siro Hills, and we have published uh, uh, its presence in JOTT. So uh, you can go through this uh, uh, protected list later. Next is the uh, some interesting records as well. I have already mentioned you. Papillionidae, we have four. Tenopelthus imperialis, Papillio macaon, Papillio laterally, Cobrua, and the Butanitis literally, literally. These are the original photographs from collected from the Siro Hills and the Cobru Hills.
we have 16 species rediscovered from the titlers recorded in Manipur in 1914. Family Nymphilidae, we have the Calarabia, Suroya, Lite, Kangju, Kangju, Kula, then Amicalysis, Francisca, Albo, Fasciata, Kitoria, Sordita, or sometimes it is also known as the Apo, uh, what? Apasura, Apasura, Sordita, then the Eutelia Nara Nagaensis and the Eutelia Durga Splendens. These are the rediscovery recently collected from Manipur. Then the rediscovery in the family of Ryodini, it is the Dododa Adonira Naga. I have uh, used a reference <laughs> photograph from Flickr because I have lost the photograph of Adonira. Then uh, we have uh, this uh, dead specimen here I provided is the photograph of uh, Amlopala Abidiana Abidiana collected from Ciro Hills. Unfortunately, we do not have a live photograph because it was very fast flyer and uh, we could not collect the photograph. So accidentally, this was collected in my net. Then uh, Una Usta, it is very common species, but uh, we have rediscovered again from after 100 years, more than 100 years from Siro Hills and other parts of Manipur. Aropala Rama, Ramosa, Aropala Helenore. Helenore is very common in the Imphal Valley, in the Langol Rija Villas. And the, in the family Hesperidae, we have so far uh, rediscovered the Coladenia Indrani Oposatra and the Aporasa Atkinsoni. Aporasa Atkinsoni is also known as the Mahatla Atkinsoni from the uh, uh, Indo Myanmar border parts uh, area. New records. We have uh, many new records. I didn't provide the photograph for all. Papilio agrestor, Papilio uh, apias albina darada, Artogia irute montana, Miletus melus, Flos fulgida, Cigaritis nepalicus. Cigaritis nepalicus was a photograph from uh, Senapati district by the Milin Mankare sir from Mumbai. Then the Rapala Rectibitata, Helio, Heliophorus Cohimensis, Tamu, Jamait Cerulis, Tarukas Venosus, Everest Hugeli Dipora, Talika the Nicias Natchez is a new record in the Imphal Valley, uh, Lester Dickers Transpectus, then Euclid Radamentus, Lite Distance, Lite Dura, Lite Letiaris, Lite Sura, New Pepula. Ha, Nupe Yama Yama, Michaelis Intermedia, Dipastes Skylex, Algia Fesciata, Atima Opalina, Pantoporia Paraca Paraca, and Kalima Keneviti, then the family Hesperidae, uh, Clinorius Asmara, Eromecus Pygmius, Hierotis uh, Adrasta Parva, Idionotatorus, Parnaraverda. These are the new records. And Bauris Penicillata. Bauris Penicillata is a new India. I hope so. Because uh, the species is not mentioned in the version A and Smetic. We have uh, dissected the genitalia because the journal uh, editor was very rough <laughs> and he wants to see every material. So we have confirmed through the genitalia, genitalia preparation. And the Penicillata is a New record for India also. Rens extensions. Uh, it is a little bit old publication, but it is after 2010. Uh, Pontia dublitis and the ugliest Casmirensis. They are moving eastward. So recently we have recorded, uh, in recently means in the past 10 years, we have recorded from Manipur. It was published uh, uh, in Bionotes by Monsoon Jyoti Gogo and me in 2013 about Pontia Dablidais. Then uh, these are the recent publications which uh, we have done from Manipur. And out of these three are the 
still in the press. Butterfly habitat it is very, uh, what to say, diverse. Uh, first one in the center with the net uh, is uh, in the, and the one person who is sitting with the camera, it is Harbin. And uh, another person is uh, Premjit Elangmum at Kwata, which is found, which is in the Indo-Myanmar border. So far, we have collected many species which are new to India. And even for the Manipur from from this region, it is uh, in the, from the Indo-Myanmar border. Then the Lokshaw is also situated in the Indo-Myanmar border, where you can see on the left side with the two person with the nets, and the Sadu Siru uh, waterfall area on the right side. Uh, then the Siro Hills in Okrul, and Mahade Valley in the uh, Imphal West District. These are the some uh, I could not put all the photographs. So we have varieties of habitats, starting from hills, high mountains to the low low region, and the area which I have mentioned here is having uh, very endemic species. Uh, so far, so far we have not identified. Uh, any butterfly hotspots in Manipur, but as per our collection, we have I have just mentioned six locality here. You can see even in the map uh, with the flag. One is the Siroi Hills and the Siroi Kasong. Siroi Kasong is Siroi Peak. Siroi Hills and the Siroi area, Siroi Village area is one of the best place so far we have visited, and it has the historical importance because. Titler have uh, Titler in 1914 have visited this area and he have described many species from this place. Especially even in the moths also we have some description from the Zero Hills. Kobru second was second is the uh, Kobru Hills. Uh, I'm talking about from the map. Uh, second is the Kobru Hills. Kobru Hills is about four thousand more than four thousand feet in height. Uh, and having the tropical uh, forest, and the area is known for Lite Kaubrua, uh, uh, huh. described from Kaubru Hills, mm, Papilio Letrali Kaubrua, Dinopelpus Imperialis. These species are from the Kaubru Hills. Then the Kongwamaru. Kongomaru is in the Imphal East District, and it is a newly discovered hotspot. And we have many species like uh, Lepropterra uh, magias, like uh, which we call as the uh, what is that? Uh, I forgot. Uh, <laughs> I am not very familiar with the common names. <laughs> Dragon tails, okay. Dragon tails. Very, uh, we have in the Imbal Belly itself, we have the uh, hot spot for the dragon tails here. One is the Kongmaru, another is Sadu Siru, and another part is the Chushanpur area. We have uh, uh, lots of dragon tails here. Langol Reja Forest, it was visited by the Titler also, and uh, this is a long hill range in the center of Imbal Valley. And it is the best place of butterflying in the Imphal Valley area. Sadu Siru is a waterfall, and uh, it's about from the plain. It is about uh, seven to eight kilometers trek up to the waterfall, and it is uh, having very good fauna of diversity of butterflies. Kabulamjau National Park. We have already having 115 species of butterflies from this place. Then the Lamsilu stream or Kwata village and the Yagankoki Loksha Wildlife Sanctuary towards the Indo Myanmar border. This is the best place so far we have we have collected all more than 300 butterflies from this region. So, majority of the from butterfly is collected from the Yagankoki Loksha Wildlife Sanctuary and Kwata 
from Indoma and my border place. So these are the some places which I need to mention for as a butterfly hotspot, but we have more than this, which we have not identified so far. Because uh, the work so far we are doing is without any funding. We, this is uh, by the interest and without any government support, we are doing it. In the future, we will try to do in collaboration with the forest department and other related departments. Okay, uh, here I have uh, completed my presentation, but he, he, here is the team. Uh, myself uh, working in, as a PhD student in the University of South Bermia, uh, I am the one who is identifying most of the butterflies and uh, keeping the, all the records of the collections. Second one is the Harmin, the first photograph from uh, right side, right to right side to left. Second is Balachor, and the fourth one, Lysram Ricky. Uh, third one with the spec uh, in the first row, he is uh, uh, working in the botanical survey of India. He is based in Shillong from Manipur. And uh, he has the surveyed majority of the Ifal Valley and uh, parts of the, you know, some parts of the hill. And he also have a very good record and he also sharing with us. Then the Amau, Ngaom, everybody knows. He is a very <laughs> uh, active guy in the Butterflies of India group. Then his brother, Bendang Ng, the another guy in the second row from the right, Ronald, the, then the Samungo Lysram, he is a reporter, come wildlife conservation activist. Then the president, Premjit Alamam, he is also a wildlife conservation activist. So everybody is the, uh, working in group. So then we have the advisors, as advisors, we have the Peter Spetsik, sir, from Butterfly uh, Research Center, every butterfly which we have photographed, every new records, every rediscovery we discuss with him, and he helps us to confirm the butterflies. Then we have an uh, international advisor, Dr. Jernik Faltiner Fritz. We, uh, he is uh, my supervisor in my PhD work, and he is a uh, uh, expert in lysinity and uh, he is uh, helping us in identifying the most of the lysinities collected from Manipur. And uh, we have other data contributors. Uh, we have uh, uh, Joyce Vaino and the Daru Vaino. They are most of the, their uh, records you can see in the butterflies of India website. Thank you very much. Thank you all. Yeah, I complete my presentation. Thank you so much, Jetty Sir. That was really a wonderful insight on butterflies of money.